Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, we're at the end of the year. That can only mean one thing. It's time to take a look at what potential whoppers of a film that we're going to get in 2024. Hopefully the world won't go to crap and everything gets pushed to 2025 and beyond. So, <laughs> yeah, like we've had the last couple of years. Okay, so I do have a list of 10, my 10 films, and I've also got four honourable mentions as well. Yeah, and uh, hopefully I've probably... No, there's no Tom Cruise. <laughs> I was just looking through there. Is Tom Cruise in any of these films? I don't think he is, unless he's got a cameo. Anyway, let's do it. Righty-o. Yes, I'm over here. Over here. Over here. Yes. Um, Okie dokie. So the four honourable <laughs> honourable mentions first. Craven the Hunter. Is it Craven or Kraken? Craven the Hunter. Yes, with Aaron Taylor Johnson. Is that his name? I think so. He was in Godzilla 2014. Uh, he's all, also potentially tipped to be the new Bond, but we don't know yet. Yeah, this also stars Russell Crowe doing one of his Russian accents. I, that's not Russian, Paul. Yeah, uh, I don't really know too much about this. Uh, I have watched the trailer a few times. It looks like he gets poisoned by some lion blood and starts kind of like developing all these senses and ways to talk to animals and that kind of stuff does that mean that actually if a fish bleeds on me i'll be wanting to swim underwater <laughs> and lay lots of eggs i don't know anyway that's craven the hunter yeah uh next up is an honorable mention we've got no uh, no i still haven't got round to understanding how this title is supposed to be said it's Godzilla X Kong. What is that? Godzilla times Kong? Godzilla love Kong? I don't know. What's the X got to do with it? Godzilla X Kong. I would say that it's Godzilla times Kong. I don't know what that comes out as. <laughs> but anyway, it looks good. Yes. Uh, always got to have a bit of Godzilla in there. Throw in a little bit of Kong and we've got some monkey action going on. Another honourable mention, we've got Beetlejuice 2. Yes, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. All that kind of shit. Yes, uh, whoever thought we were going to get another Beetlejuice? I didn't. Uh, Michael Keaton is back. We also have Winona Ryder and also Jenna Ortega. Fresh off Wednesday. Yeah, not Tuesday, Wednesday. So this should be very interesting. Hopefully they get it right and we have the same kind of manic stuff that we had in the first Beetlejuice. Uh, my final, uh, pardon me, honourable mention goes to a new Alien film, Alien Romulus. Yeah, really looking forward to this. Um, I don't really know too much about it. Not a lot has been revealed, so uh, we just have to wait, won't we? Okay, so let's get into the top 10, shall we? Hang on, let me have a swig of coffee first thirsty work okay number 10 joker uh folly ado <laughs> i think that's how you pronounce it yes um joaquin phoenix is back um apparently this is supposed to be more of a musical sequel to joker um we'll see but uh, i haven't seen a trailer i don't think there's a trailer for it yet but I love the first film, so hopefully the second one's going to be just as good. Uh, in ninth position, we have Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. That's right. <laughs> We're all going monkey mad. Yeah. Monkey magic. Monkey magic. <laughs> yes. What the hell did Costa put in that? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Um, apparently this is set a couple of hundred years after the War of the Planet of the Apes, from what I know, uh, which is why Andy Serkis is not in it. But these type of films are classic, these ape films. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, my eighth position is Argyle. Yeah, I know this one came out of the blue. 
Uh, this is from Michael Vaughan, who gave us some classic films. Uh, and this is a kind of spies about a super, a, a super spy. Um, it's a Bryce Dallas Howard, who's an author, and she writes these spy stories. And then we see the actual spy characters of the story uh, head, headed up by Henry Cavill. We've also got uh, some other great ca uh, characters in there. And we've also got like Samuel L. Jackson as well. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. It gives me vibes of Kingsman and also Bullet Train. So it's kind of a mixture of those two. It has that kind of feel to it. But it looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, that's definitely one that I, I think Lulu will, will be wanting to go and see. In seventh position, we have Ballerina. Yes, no, I'm not going to go and watch any Russian ballerinas tiptoeing around the stage. This is a spin-off of John Wick starring Anna de Armes, um, who's out for revenge after some hoodlums kill her family. And this is a spin-off from the John Wick series, but it looks like it looks like John Wick himself, Keanu Reeves is in it, as well as um, Lance Reddick. Uh, we also have Ian McShane as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got some John Wick, uh, you know, characters in here. So uh, they may be cameos. They may be bigger roles. We don't know yet. Uh, so uh, we have to wait for the trailer. But, yeah, Ballerina, that's definitely going to be one to see. Sixth position, we've got some Pixar. That's right. We have Inside Out 2. Love the first Inside Out. So colourful. Brilliant story. I still cried every time Bing Bong was on screen. And uh, it was just magically done. So I'm really looking forward to Inside Out 2. Hopefully it's as good as the first film. Sorry. <laughs> Fifth position, A Quiet Place, day one. Uh, apparently this has no links to the previous film. Uh, it's kind of like a, an offspring, kind of like a... Um, uh, a separate movie spin-off uh, but don't know too much about it but just going by the title day one obviously it's going to be day one yeah and the, on the invasion fourth place uh the man with the mouth is back that's right deadpool three uh, this is going to be classic i love the deadpool films even the second film ryan reynolds at the moment Every character that he does in a film, he's Deadpool. He acts the same way. It's like Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is always Hugh Grant in every film you see him in. So, uh, yeah. But this is his role. This is uh, this is fantastic. Uh, we also have Wolverine as well with uh, Hugh Jackman. And from what I can see, it looks like we've got Jennifer Garner as Elektra. That will be very interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know if they've got maybe Ben Affleck back as Daredevil. That would be good, wouldn't it? Probably won't happen, but there you go. Uh, third place, we have Furiosa, a Mad Max story. Yeah, Anya Taylor-Joy and um, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Looks fantastic. Looks colourful, looks clean, looks very glossy. And uh, I love Fury Road, and I think this is going to be a really great Mad Max story. Second place is Dune Part 2. That's right. We've been waiting so long for this. Uh, this is from Denis Villeneuve, or Dennis, as I come to know him. Uh, and this is basically the part two of the Dune story. We all know the Dune story. And we follow the adventures of Paul Atreus and, uh, and all the others. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for it. It's going to be big. It's going to be an IMAX job, definitely. OK, so that leaves first position. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. That's right. We're going to free some shit up. I think this is going to be fantastic. I l the trailer alone looks great. I think we're in for a cold one on this. Uh, I loved Afterlife. That was a fantastic film. And um, seriously, when you get to number one, who are you going to call? That's right, Ghostbusters. Get those proton packs heated up. <laughs> yes, so there we go. That is my most anticipated films 
of 2024. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Stick down in the comments. What are your top films that you're looking forward to in 2024? Maybe you'll have a few of those. Maybe you'll have a few films that I've never bloody heard of. Stick it down in the comments and uh, I'll take a look at some of them. And if there's some trailers, you never know. I might even check the trailers out because, uh, yeah, that's what I do. I like to check trailers out. Now I'm just waffling. Right. Okie dokie. See you on the next video very soon. Bye bye. I'm not even moving them. They're moving on their own.